Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. And what I'd like to do today is, first of all, I'd like to discuss the new Pathfinder stainless steel folding skillet. Then I'm going to show you how to cook a perfect omelet on stainless steel. I've been working with my father and my brother now for about two years to develop a good folding skillet from stainless steel. And this one is made from 304 stainless. It has a nice locking handle on it. This is a heavy duty skillet. This thing is substantial. It weighs 14.7 ounces. It's got a good thick bottom on it so that you can get good heat transfer for cooking. It's got the Pathfinder logo and Pathfinder embossed in the bottom. It's got a locking mechanism on the handle and it's just a snap. So let's take a look at this skillet. Again, 304 stainless. 8 inches in diameter, 14.7 ounces. The handle folds into a bracket just like that and snaps into place and you have a slider that locks it and that thing is locked solid. You're not going to have to worry about that thing slipping out of there for you or coming unlocked while you're cooking. It's going to stay in place. It's got three heavy duty rivets in it right there to hold it in place and it's just a nice heavy duty stainless steel skillet. So before we talk about cooking on stainless steel, which seems to be a sticking point, no pun intended for a lot of people, the first thing that people ask me about gear when I bring it out is, what's the cost of that piece of gear? Well, I'm gonna surprise you and I'm gonna shock you with a common man price, 15 bucks. $14.99 is the price of the skillet, and I guarantee you, you will not find anything anywhere near this heavy duty or robust for 15 bucks anywhere else by any other company. We made sure of that. So let's talk about cooking on stainless steel and how we can make this an effective cooking apparatus that we're not gonna have food sticking to every time we turn around. Okay, so let's talk about the most effective way to use this stainless steel and not have our food sticking to the surface. There's lots of mistakes that people make when they use stainless steel. First of all, you can't season stainless steel like you can cast or carbon steel, but you can create a film or a coating on that stainless that will keep your food from sticking and you can treat that very much like cast iron or high carbon steel when you're done. So I'm going to show you how to put that film on there before you use it to cook with. The other thing that you can do for yourself is don't overheat the skillet and don't put cold food in a hot skillet. Let that food be the same temperature as the air, get the air temperature before you put it in that skillet and it won't stick as bad either. So what we're gonna to do today is we're going to take this brand new skillet, we're going to put a coating on this skillet that we can use to cook with, then we're going to cook the infamous two egg omelet. Stay with me. Okay, we got a pretty good bed of coals building up right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm this skillet up. That's step one. We're gonna let that thing get nice and hot. All right, so once I have heated this skillet up, I'm going to pull it off the fire and I'm going to pour some oil into the skillet. So I'm going to wipe it out, make sure there's not a bunch of dirt in there. And I'm going to pour enough oil in it to cover the bottom really, really well. Then I'm going to put it back on the fire. And I'm going to leave it on the fire until the oil starts to boil and smoke inside that pan. I don't want it to catch fire or ignite. I just want it to get really, really hot like deep frying heat. I don't know if you can see that golden color that that skill is turning on the inside, but that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so once our pan is cool to the touch, now we can take it and all we're gonna do is take a rag and we're going to dump this oil out and we're just going to wipe this thing down with a rag, just like we would if we were seasoning carbon or cast. But we're never going to use anything else other than soapy water and a rag on this pan from here on out. The next thing we're not going to do is we're not going to use any metal utensils on this surface. We're only going to use wood or plastic, but I prefer wood. All right. Now we're good and cooled down. Let's take this thing over to the fire and cook us up some eggs. 
Now, before we put our skillet on the fire, we're not going to put colder food or a different temperature food in the skillet than the skillet is itself. So we want to put this food in the skillet prior to putting it on the fire. Just like this. All right. Then we can mix it up in here for our omelet, just like this. And now, we're going to take it over to the fire. Now, the next mistake a lot of people make when they're cooking with anything, but especially stainless steel, is trying to heat it up too fast and cook too fast. Cook it slowly and evenly, and it'll have a lot less chance of sticking. So we're going to wait till our fire has burned down to coals. We don't want open flame. Okay, so we got our pan over the hot coals now. It's going to take a few minutes and it'll be ready to flip. Okay, here's our omelet. We got one little bitty spot right there. It looks like it might have stuck just a little bit, but other than that, she's cooking just fine. And she's not sticking at all now. And she's pretty well done. Okay, so here's our omelet off the fire here. As you can see, it slides around there just fine. Nothing sticking to anything. We're in good shape there. And now we're just going to wipe this thing out with our rag, just like we would carbon or cast. Let it cool down, and it's ready to be used for the next time. Well, folks, I appreciate you joining me today for the break-in of the new Pathfinder stainless steel folding skillet. Still just a little bit warm from cooking in it. I've had one of these for, oh, I don't know, probably five months something like that while we were waiting on the shipment to arrive prototyping that one to make sure it was exactly what we wanted before we ordered and got these in and i've beat the crap out of it and it's passed all my tests of flying color so i knew it was a good skillet but i wanted to show you guys a fresh one out of the box show you how i somewhat season stainless steel and give you some tips and tricks on how i cook with it as well Go to our website at selfrelianceoutfitters.com and check it out. 15 bucks, I guarantee you, you cannot beat this skillet anywhere for the money. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.